with performances by Blue Rodeo, Rick Emmett, Cowan, the reunion of Max Webster, National Velvet, The Phantoms, Lee Aaron and the Toronto Jam Band featuring LT Zappa Costa. Also appearing, Steve Anthony, Sebastian Bach, Candy, Bill Carroll, Andy Curran, John Derringer, Denise Donlin, Jake Edwards, Brian Elliott, Ellen Frew, John Gallagher, Michael Hollett, Gordon Lightfoot, Sue Medlin, Gil Moore, The Bartlin Brothers, The Q Morning Zoo, The Rock Report, Joey Vendetta, and Steve Warden. Now, let's get things started with Duke Street recording artists, The Rick Emmett Band.
the Rick Emmett Band. Yeah. Thank you, everybody, for coming out. My name is John Derringer. I'm from Q107. Thank you very much for being here tonight. Would you please welcome the host, or one of the two hosts of this evening's proceedings, Mr. Ian Thomas. Welcome to the Toronto Music Awards. You know, this started off as just a really small idea a few years ago, and now four years later, look at it. Now we have a medium-sized idea. You know what really bugs me? I don't know if this bugs you, but have you noticed all these groups that come over from Great Britain they all sing with American accents. It's like somewhere in England, there's a school. If you're going to be a pop singer, you got to go learn an American accent. I figure it's something like this. Can you imagine if Annie Lennox of the Eurythmics had given us sweet dreams in her own dialect? She's from Scotland. Of course, it might have sounded a bit like this. Sweet dreams are made of these. Who am I to disagree? She's my life. I've traveled the world and the seven seas. Get out of town! This year has been an interesting year for censorship. The two life crew thing in the United States. Incidentally, I heard on American radio that they are going to be putting out an album, kind of a Beatles tribute album. A few of the songs have been changed. There, of course, will be... Uh, when I find myself in time of trouble, Mother Mary come to me, speaking words of wisdom, what it be? And my favorite, hey dude. And don't forget something, you can all join in with me. My, one of my favorite Beatles tunes, which will be on this new Two Live Crew album, it's called, We All Live in a Yellow Coupe de Ville. Yellow Coupe de Ville. Now, censorship, I think, really does come down to what tonight is all about, because one of the last bastions of free speech and free expression is rock and roll. So let's get on to this show and get into some rock and roll. My co-host, please give a, a nice warm welcome for Q107's Shirley McQueen. Good evening. Thank you. Thank you very much. Nice to see you, Shirley. Nice to see you, too. Hey, yeah. Shirley McQueen, ladies and gentlemen. Let's hear it for her. Free expression. They said, Shirley, would you like to do some free expression? I said, well, Okay, here I am to freely express myself. <laughs> okay. Let's get right into the show. All right, this is my second year co-hosting the show. I'm thankful they had me back. It's, it's wonderful. We're here to celebrate some of the great musical talent that this city has produced, and there's been a lot of it over the years. Some of the exceptional musicians, so let's get right to it. Our first two presenters for the categories of Best Toronto Group and Best Toronto Club. From Much Music, Steve Anthony, and a very talented artist from Vancouver whose debut album recently went gold. Welcome, Sue Medley. Thank you. So much black and so much hair. This is rock and roll. Uh, I'm here to present the award for the best Toronto group or artist that would be local success. And the nominees are The Pursuit of Happiness, Rick Emmett, Crash Vegas, Blue Rodeo, or Kim Mitchell.
Okay, well, we'll see you all a little later on stage, okay? Thanks. The next award is for Best Toronto Club. And nobody can underestimate the importance of having local venues in which to perform and develop as an artist. And the winner for the Best Toronto Club is... Rock and Roll Heaven. Rock and Roll Heaven. Thank you very much. National Velvet, coming up on the Toronto Music Awards. Next two awards from CBC's Video Hits, Brian Elliott. All right, the nominees for Best Toronto Pop Dance Group or Artist are Sherry, John James, Kinga, Candy, Karen Silver, Con Ken, and Donna Robbins. And the award goes to... Candy! short here. Um, we'd like to thank, oh boy, there's a lot of people out there. We'd like to, <laughs> we would like to thank everybody that has helped us in the past and, um, you know, the record company IRS and uh, everybody with, uh, with Capital and uh, I'd like to say thank you to my two favorite people here, Nino and Paul, and uh, the public, all you guys that enjoy the music. Our parents, our family, everybody, thank you so much. Thank you very much. Okay, moving right along. It's my pleasure to present the award for Best Toronto Reggae Group or Artist. The nominees are Lillian Allen, Clifton Joseph, Sunforce, Errol Blackwood, The Satellites, Leroy Sibbles and Masenja. And the award goes to the Satellites. Scandinavia, many more. Now with a second album released entitled Courage, critics are saying the next time an energy crisis hits, call National Velvet. Shine on to me as I shine on to you. Let's see some hands. Shine on to me. 
Music Awards are being simulcast on CBC Television and Q107. Okay, we would now like to honor some individual players. Our first presenter is no stranger to the Toronto music scene. He played bass with Coney Hatch and recently released a self-titled solo album. I'm of course speaking of Andy Curran. And with Andy, another local boy who's getting international attention after selling over four million albums with his band Skid Row. Ladies and gentlemen, Sebastian Bach. The nominees for the best Toronto keyboard player are Greg Wells from Kim Mitchell Band, Larry Gowan, Arnold Lanny from Frozen Ghost, Bobby Wiseman from The Blue Rodeo, Aaron Davis from The Holly Cole Trio, Mean Steve Piano from The Razorbacks, and Chris Brown from the Bourbon Tabernacle Choir. The winner is... Gowan! Where is he? Come on! Here you go, man! Larry Bud Gowan. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you very, very much. I appreciate the honor very much. I'd like to accept this on behalf of our band and crew who uh, have uh, been across the country a couple of times in the last few months. Thank you so much. Thank you. Isn't this fabulous? It's just so fabulous. Okay. Get in. Okay, the nominees uh, for the best Toronto bass player are uh, Jeff Rockman from the Jeff Healy Band, Getty Lee from Rush, Peter Fredette from Kim Mitchell, Steve Webster, Chris Brockway from the Rick Emmett Band and Jocelyn Lenoir from Crash Vegas. And the winner is... Can we have a drum roll, please? The only reason why I ever bought a Rickenbacker bass in my life, Getty Lee. Yeah. I'd just like to thank all those responsible for me receiving this award. I consider it a great honor and uh, it's very much appreciated. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure for me to introduce to you the Q Morning Zoo. It's downtown Jane Brown and brother Jake Edwards. The nominees for Best Toronto Drummer are Neil Peart from Rush, Randy Cook from the Rick Emmett Band, Jordan Anderson from Atlanta Miles, Kimio Okai from Lee Aaron, and Randy Coriel from Tom Cochran's Band, Greg Critchley from Regatta, and Tom Steven from the Jeff Healy Band. This award is being presented in memory of I.I. drummer Mark, and of course Mark isn't here, and Mark, wherever you are, baby, thank you. And the winner is... The Toronto Music Award for Best Drummer goes to Neil Peart.
thank you very much. I'd like to thank uh, everyone who voted for me, and I'd also like to thank all the great drummers who uh, taught me everything they know. Thank you. The nominees for Best Toronto Guitarist, Steve DeMarkey from Alias, Ken Greer from Gowan, Jeff Healy, David Wilcox, Rick Amit, Tim Mitchell, and Alex Leifson from Rush. And the winner is Jeff Healy. Forte Records to Jeff Healy Band's management company. Unfortunately, Jeff's on the road with CZ Top right now in the States, but he in the event that he won, he wanted me to thank everyone who voted for him. Thanks. It's time for some more music. And with the success of these guys, they have experienced a lot of it. No lengthy introductions are needed. How about a Toronto welcome for Toronto's own Blue Rodeo. On this useless night With you so far away I stand in front of this Ferris wheel And I wonder what am I doing here And I wonder what am I doing here All the drums just stumble by and mumble their abuse Tell me what is the use And I wonder what am I doing here And I wonder what am I doing here After so long nobody's wrong After so long nobody's right We'll be right back with Gowan on the Toronto Music Awards. And now to present the next award, a talented singer-songwriter and a good friend, Alfie Zappacosta.
and with Alfie to present the award for Best Toronto Blues Group and Best Toronto Rap Group from Messenger. Welcome, Rupert Harvey. Alfie Zappacosta and Rupert Harvey! Yeah, Ian. Good evening, everybody. Yeah, this is a very fitting category. I've been watching a lot of blues recently, about yeah, the yeah. blues and cues, yeah. You were mentioning that backstage. All right. Well, the nominees tonight are the Don Child Blues Band, Jack the Kaiser, Paul James, Mondo Combo, The Phantoms, Tony Springer, and Colin Linden. And the winner is Paul James. Well, the man's out working, obviously. He's not here. I'm sure he'd say things like, uh, thank you so very much for this incredible, wonderful award. I'd like to like, take you all home, have a real party. Paul James. This year, nominated in the category of Best Toronto Rap Group, are the artists are Devon, Maestro Fresh West, Michi Me and LA Love, Be Cool, now come on, Be Cool, HDB and Dream Warriors. Rupert? And the winner is Maestro Fresh West. Let your backbone slide, let it slip, let the wind on the whip, while my lyrics leave my lips, lay deep, and then I pick it up on pages. Watch the brother, go on our stages, name rings up off the stages, break the fuck, it says my name. I gotta say, you know, thank you for everyone that's been supporting me, my family, my crew, Farley Flex, my manager, DJ LTD, my dancers, Easy Does It, Do It Easy. I gotta say what's up to Dream Warriors, Ivan Berry, Beat Factory Productions over here cooling out. And everybody support me, main source. Thank you very much. Now let your backbone slide. Let it slip, let the rhythm rip while the lyrics leave the lips. Now to present the Now Magazine Cutting Edge Award. The editor and publisher of Now Magazine, Michael Hollett, along with Now Music Editor, James Mark. This year's winner is already established a strong track record as an important talent scout and artist developer for Toronto's dance and rap music community. Some of his acts are already on the charts worldwide. Spotting the stars of the future is a talent in itself. By successfully promoting a uniquely Canadian style of rap and with a commitment to developing local talent, we're very pleased to present the now Cutting Edge Award to Michael, take it away. The winner is Ivan Barry from Beat Factory Production. My Come on, Ivan. Be back to yes. Go, Ivan. I would like to thank everyone. First of all, I would like to thank my partners in Beat Factory Productions, Maximum 60 and Rupert Gale. I would like to thank all the groups in Beat Factory Productions, there's 13 of them. Ones that you would know includes the Dream Warriors, Mishimi and LA Love, and HDP. And last but not least, I would like to thank Now Magazine for presenting me with this award. Thank you. And now to play some live rock and roll, an artist who's experienced tremendous success through his dynamic live appearances. Ladies and gentlemen, Gowan. Stop. 
prison walls secure me And I am numb to pain Music Awards are being simulcast on CBC Television and Q107. When I think back through the years at our next presenter's uh, legacy behind him, songs like If You Could Read My Mind and The Wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald, it's just incredible. He's one of Canada's most enduring and prolific songwriters. Apart from the fact that he's had 19 top 40 hits and that I learned to pick guitar off of this guy's records, uh, his dedication to his craft and concern for the world around him make him an appropriate choice to present the Harmony Award. Ladies and gentlemen, Gordon Lightfoot.
Harmony Award. goes to the group or artist uh, displaying the most goodwill and concern over issues that grip our everyday existence. The band that will be receiving this award has a long list of benefits and causes they have been involved with. Here is a small sample. The Stein Valley Voices for the Wilderness Festival in Vancouver. The Toronto Disarmament Network, Greenpeace, Amnesty International, Tomogamy Wilderness Society, Canadian Diabetes Association, the United Way, the Kidney Foundation, Multiple Sclerosis of Canada, and uh, the Variety Club Telethon. Ladies and gentlemen, the winners of this year's Harmony Awards, Blue Rodeo. Well, this is an honor to receive it from Gordon Lightfoot, who himself has obviously done many good things. It's weird to get a pat on the back for this, because usually when you're asked to go to places like the Stein Valley or, or any of the causes that we do, it's an honor. There's nothing to it. It's good to be in a position to be able to do some good. Thank you very much. This is a great honor. Some people now from uh, who play a lot of metal, you know. Some people, uh, these people always seem to move in a pack. That's right, we're talking about some radio guys from Q107 John Derringer, Steve Warden, Bill Carroll, and Joey Vendetta. Yeah! Good evening, everybody. Are we rocking this evening? Oh. The nominees for Best Toronto Rising Star Group are National Velvet, Regatta, Crash Vegas, Sky Diggers, The Jitters, Seventh Son, The Holly Cole Trio, and Andy Curran. And the winner is... The Jitters. We've been together nine years. To win the Rising Star Award is kind of amazing, but it's really wonderful and we're very, very grateful. Thanks to everybody who voted and thanks to all our friends in the industry. Great honor, thank you very much. Just so there's no confusion, those first two presenters were John Derringer and Steve Warden from the Six O'Clock Rock Report. I'm Bill Carroll from Q107's Barometer, and this is my rock and roll buddy from the Power Factory, Joey Vendetta. Now, now Bill introduced us because, as you can see, we look a lot alike. Am I correct? Is there a resemblance here, folks? Now this guy hosts our talk show, so if anybody out there has any questions on premature ejaculation, this is the time. The nominees for Best Toronto Club Band are The Phantoms, The Bourbon Tabernacle Choir, Slash Puppet, The Razorbacks, Ben Galley and David Wilcox and Bill the winner. The Toronto Music Award goes to Slash Puppet. Thank you. On behalf of the band, we'd like to thank everybody who voted. Unfortunately, our vocalist Terrence can make it this evening. He's vacationing in the lovely West. 
We'd like to uh, extend our gratitude to our families who've been behind us since day one. All our beautiful friends. And all you people who voted for us, we want to thank you very, very much. Peace. Nice. Thank you. Still to come, the Phantoms on the Toronto Music Awards. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please welcome the Phantoms? No, you do that to me. Yes, that's right. Home. Son, you gotta come back home. You've been gone away so long. It's time to lay your burden down. Toronto folk or traditional and best Toronto country or group artist are two people who've had major success not only in Canada but also internationally. Welcome Candy from Candy and the Backbeat and Glass Tigers Alan Frew.
Thank you. I was, uh, I was just reminiscing with uh, Rick Emmett backstage about a show I saw several years ago in Massey Hall. And uh, I don't know if I'll be giving away their ages or just their level of skill, but it was a double bill that evening. And on the bill was the Ian Thomas Band. <laughs> and a band from Toronto called Max Webster. I don't know if you were there, but I was there. And I never thought we'd see them again, but we're gonna to get to see them on a stage tonight, all right. But first, we have to say that the nominees for Best Toronto Folk or Traditional Group or Artist are Bruce Coburn, Jane Sibbery, Rare Air, Cowboy Junkies, Grievous Angels, the Leslie Spook Trio, and Scott Merritt. And the award goes to the Cowboy Junkies. Uh, the Cowboy Junkies are not here, but I'm sure if they were, they'd be very proud to uh, accept the award. Thank you very much. Okay, the nominees for Best Country Group or Artists are Michelle Wright, Murray McLaughlin, J.K. Cully, The Good Brothers, Prairie Oyster, Tim Taylor, and Anita Perez. And the award goes to... Prairie Oyster. Woo. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'd like to thank uh, BMG and RCA for uh, really working this record. Thanks very much. And to all of you people that voted for us. I'd like to thank Rush and Kim Mitchell for not being in this category. And all the fans, all the family, thank you. Appreciate it. Much music and uh, CBC Radio. Hopefully it'll still be around uh, by the time the next election rolls around. Thanks very much. The reunion of Max Webster coming up on the Toronto Music Awards. Earlier this week, a presentation was made at City Hall. Uh, the award goes to someone who, or to a group, who have uh, participated internationally, who have carried the banner of Toronto and Canada, and carried it proudly. And uh, the three gentlemen that I'm going to give this award to for a second time have certainly done that, and done it in great measure for quite a number of years. I. Uh, also, I'm pleased uh, to be able to declare today to be Toronto Musicians Day as a recognition of not only them, but recognition of uh, all of the, the fine talent that uh, we have in our city and in our country uh, that uh, I think we're proud of here and we're proud to see uh, how well they perform internationally. And this, uh, this award, as I said a moment ago, goes for the second time to these three gentlemen who have uh, sold in excess of 30 million uh, records worldwide, who uh, have uh, uh, contributed a great deal to music here in Toronto and in Canada and throughout the world, and have also contributed to the community. I think uh, what they have done for the United Way and what they have done as a contribution to the quality of life in Toronto is equally important to all of the massive contribution that they've made uh, in music. And so I'm particularly proud to uh, recognize uh, them today, uh, Getty, Neil, and Alec, and to uh, once again present the Mayor's Award of the Toronto Music Awards to Rush. Thank you very much. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you. Indeed. Oh, he's <laughs> <over here. laughs> Where'd you go? <laughs>
And now this is a bit of a treat for me. I went across the, uh, across the country with these guys a few years back. This is the reunion that you've all been waiting for. Max Webster! treat for ourselves.
The neighbors holler! Here to thin the thickness of your skin.
Heartland Brothers, and more next on the Toronto Music Awards. Here's a lady who brings a lot of intelligence and class to video broadcasting and two very talented singer-songwriters. It's Denise Donlan from Much Music, The New Music, and the Parlin Brothers, Chris and GP. I'm here to present the award for Best Toronto or International Jazz Group. The nominees are Peter Appleyard, Ed Vickard, David Blay Myers, Mo Kaufman, the Holly Cole Trio, the Shuffle Demons, John McLeod, and Time Warp. The winner is Holly oh, Cole! Holly Cole! Oh, Holly is not feeling well tonight. So uh, I know that she'd want to thank her rapper company and all your people and that fabulous Queen Street community from which so much great music springs. So on behalf of Holly Cole, Thanks, Holly. All right. You got another award, guys. The nominees for Toronto's best group with international success, the Jeff Healy Band, Alana Miles, Alias, Cowboy Junkies, Rush, and the Tragically Hip. On behalf of everybody who voted Alana this award, she'd like to thank all her fans and Max Webster. Thank you. Okay, well, these are the last two awards, two awards we're about to present. And here to do the honors with me is Gil Moore, the powerhouse behind Triumph. The nominees for the Best Toronto Male Vocalist are Kim Mitchell, <laughs> Jeff Lee, Getty Lee of Rush, Gowan, Lord Downey from The Tragically Hip, Rick Emmett, Freddie Kir Kirchie, rather, and Sebastian Bach. And the winner is... Sebastian Bach. This one on behalf of Kim Mitchell from Max Webster! But seriously, you know, uh, it's, a, it's a great honor to be here among all the people like uh, Kim Mitchell and Rush and uh, Gilmore from Tribe of People who have influenced us all as rock fans in Toronto, you know what I'm saying? Hey, people talk about the American dream, man. Screw the American dream, man. Young Street's a lot more fun anyhow, you know what I'm saying? Rock with Lee Aaron next on the Toronto Music Awards. The nominees for Best Toronto Female Vocalist are Margot Timmons, Lee Aaron, Alana Miles, Maria Delmar, Lorraine Sagato, and Michelle McAdory. The winner is Lee Aaron. Yeah. Kick 
big serious butt or what? I, uh, I have to say that this award is the uh, highest form of flattery that this city could ever give me. Thank you very much. Well, Shirley, I've really enjoyed co-hosting this award show with you. And being as this is your second year, I wish you best of luck with your new co-host next year. But I want you back. I want you. I'd love to come back, Shirley. Mm -hmm. Has everybody had a good time here tonight? Yeah. You enjoyed Max Webster, I think. Well, I'd like to thank Ian, Ian Thomas, my co-host. That's it for this year's edition of the Toronto Music Awards. It just gets better and better every year. Wait till we see what, wait till you see what we got for you next year. Our congratulations to all the nominees and recipients. Special thanks to Q107, Now Magazine, CBC Toronto, the incredible CBC production crew here, Jack Budgel, our director, Superstars Nightclub, and Molson Canadian Rocks. Our final performance of the evening is a very special one. The Toronto Jam Band features Dave Betts of Honeymoon Suite on drums, Andy Curran on bass, on guitars, John Albany from Lee Aaron's band, Al Connolly from Glass Tiger, Phil X from Frozen Ghost, and Ray Coburn on keyboards. And on vocals, the very talented Alfie Zappacosta and Lee Aaron. Ladies and gentlemen, to close the 1990 Toronto Music Awards, the Toronto Jam, Jam Band. Band.
music. The Toronto Music Awards, brought to you by Molson Canadian, what beer's all about.